If you've got a Go XLR and you've either got a dual PC or a single PC set up and you've been struggling to kind of find a solution that works for you, there's no caveats, you've got all of your audio on different channels, the volumes all optimized and you've watched loads of videos on YouTube and it still doesn't do what you want it to do, then wait, I think I might have the solution for you. And so I'm gonna show you today how I've got mine set up in the routing table, and then how I then set it up in OBS. Wait, how could I forget? This is for a dual PC setup for the streaming PC. It will also work for a single PC setup. You should have to follow the steps along and then towards the end of the video, I'll show you how you make a slight adjustment to the routing table to work for a single PC. So just before I get started, I'm gonna show you how I've got my Go XLR set up and you can then make the decision whether this is something that you want and then proceed with the video or not. So just to go through my Go XLR here, I've got uh, voice chat, which is Discord, music, game, and headphones. My Discord slider here uh, basically manages the, the sound in my headphones, but not for stream. I have a limiter for it on stream, which I'll show you in a bit. But yeah, this, this slider doesn't control the volume for stream, literally just controls it for my headphones. And then the mute, button down here mutes uh, Discord for stream. This one is obviously the music. My slider controls the volume in my headphones and also for stream. Um, and then here down the bottom, I have this to mute in my headphones, but not on stream. So if I wanted to keep the music running on stream, but I don't want to hear it whilst I'm playing the game, I can I can turn that off. The game, this one controls uh, the volume in my headphones and also for stream. Uh, and then the mute button down here controls whether I can hear the game sound in my headphones, but but not for stream. So if I mute that, the stream will still hear the game. And then finally, you've got headphones. This is just basically um, like the system control or control the volume of, of, of everything on the other sliders. The mute one here, it doesn't matter. And then you might look at this and go, we well, don't have a mic slider on there. I don't feel like I need one. My mic volume stays the same. I want it to stay the same. Um, and I did have it on there before and I never felt like I was using the slider. Um, and the only thing that I did use was the mute at the bottom to, to mute on stream. Um, but the fact that the, the Go XLR has this mute button here anyway, so I actually just started using that instead to mute my mic to stream and then found that, well, I wasn't actually using the mic, so I decided to take it off. I also don't have the sampler slider on here because, again, I don't feel the need to change uh, the sound or volume of the sampler, so I keep that off there. So yeah, that's just a, an overview of how I have mine set up. And now I'll go into my routing table to show you what I've got and then show you how you can set all those up in OBS. Again, this, this might not work or apply to everyone. Everyone streams in a different way and uses sound uh, differently. But again, this, this solved my problem that I had of, I wanted to have everything on different channels. I want, because I have limiters set on every single sound input based on kind of my system and, and the volume. Like my game set, I play Warzone and it's so loud. It's so loud. I need it on a separate um, input into OBS so that I can have the limiter uh, kind of really low. Whereas the music, I don't want the music on the game one because I want the music to go loud in the game sound sometimes. And if I have that limiter on the game one and the music's there too, the music can't go louder than that. So I, I had a few issues with just things like that. And I was like, oh, I couldn't find the solution. And I think I found it. And so, yeah, this is what my routing table looks like. Um, so you've got the standard ones all across the top. And then you've got the broadcast stream mix. So a lot of videos that I saw, basically, they just had everything on the broadcast stream mix. Music, game, chat, everything. And that just was not what I wanted. Um, and so for mine, I've just got the music on there. So when you're seeing a bit, I can just have the music on one line in OBS. And that's really good if you play music on stream and you want to do multi-track audio recording so you can then take out the music for, for YouTube videos. Um, my uh, line out is uh, mic. That's just yeah, standard. That's just my mic going into my gaming PC. And then we've got chat mic and sampler. So this is where I kind of had a light bulb moment to figure out how to get what I wanted. So you don't have to have um, the mic input on the chat mic output. Uh, it's just, it makes it seem like you do, but you actually don't. Um, so instead, I have uh, my game sound, which is coming through my line in on my chat mic output. And I have my mic input going into the sampler output. And the reason why I do that is because I don't use the sampler output, like the sampler. So basically, let me just explain. The outputs on this side, so you've got the broadcast stream mix, chat mic and sampler. 
Those are things of which if you move the sliders, it controls the sound in your headphones and for stream. Anything that's an input, if you have that on a slider and you and you move the slider, it controls in your headphones, but not for stream. So for me, I wanted to figure out, okay, well, I want music, game, and mic on, on, on separate uh, audio channels, but also want to be, potentially be able to change them, especially for, for music and game. So this is what I did. I got, uh, yeah, line in on a chat mic, uh, and then I put the mic on the sampler. Don't, I want to go into too much detail about this. Just, just trust me. Just trust me at this point that it, it works, and you'll you'll see. And you might say, well, why don't you have actually uh, the mic on the chat mic and the line in on the sampler? And the reason why I don't do that, and I did test this, uh, is because if I then go to use one of the the sampler pads on my Go XLR, I'd like to record uh, me saying something, it will record also the game sound coming in, which is not what I want. So that's why I, because originally I was doing that and I was like, oh wait, I can hear the game sound like shooting coming in when I'm recording a sample. And so I switched them and then it, and it, and it still worked. So yeah, that's the routing table there. Just copy that like for like, um, and you'll see, and you'll see you'll see how it works. So next we're going into OBS. I've uh, kept the kind of the picture of the GoXLR routing table there, so you can just see here. Um, I, so I've just set up. I've just got to set up a default scene here, just chatting and some sources. So first one we're going to probably want to add in is is the mic. Um, and so what you want to think about is if it's an output, it will come in as an input. If it's an input, it comes into OBS as an output. Uh, so I want to input basically uh, the sampler output. Uh, so that will come in as an audio input. So we type this here, uh, mic, okay. And then we want to find uh, a sampler, sampler here. There we go. As you can see, look, now you can see my mic is, is, is working there. Next one we want to add, we want to add maybe the, the music. There we go, music. Okay, and the music is on the broadcast stream mix. There we go, we want to add that in. And just to show you how it works, I'll go into Spotify. And as I move the slider, you can see how it, it changes, changes the volume. So to get this to do that, you'd have to make another additional um, step. What you want to do is you want to go into uh, the sound on your system settings, go to uh, advanced option down here and uh, find Spotify and put that uh, under under music. And the reason that works is because what that does then is then tell Spotify to play um, music through the input. And then that then goes out the Go XLR through the output through the broadcast streaming, then into OBS. Next one we want to do is we want to do the game sound. So that is on the chat mic as an output. So we go as an input, we go game here. And we will find that under the chat mic um, and then I've just added the game so that is essentially uh, the line in and the way that will work is now if I play some sound on my gaming PC which is not currently turned on uh, but you try trust me like it, it will come if you just yeah, trust me trust me and so now I want to add the sampler um, so we're looking at the top ones here so now I want to add uh, it's the sampler input so this will come in um, as an, an audio output uh, sampler. Okay. And then I just want to find the sample. And so you don't ever, me personally find, I don't need to change the, the volume of the sampler. Um, but I'll show you how it works. So we go test, 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 There you go. Test, 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 see it set there. I also now want to add, uh, my discord. So, now I'm looking at uh, the input chat, so it'll also be an audio output. I want Discord, um, okay. And then I will find uh, the chat here. And so here, and now again, you have to do an extra step here in, in Discord, which I'll just show you now. So you wanna go into Discord uh, and go on um, voice and video and set your, set your output device uh, to, to chat and then set your input device to sample because the input, remember how we set the, the mic as the, the sampler output. So if the mic's on sampler output, it will come as an input on the sample. That works, trust me. So if you look here, if you're on left, on left check, yeah. you can you see can here, here and you can and you see, see here, here, look, um, my mic's working, working and then, and then a slow, slow delay, delay on the, on Discord, the Discord sound, sound which is basically, basically OBS, OBS picking, picking up, up the output, output uh, sound, sound from Discord. Discord. So yeah, so yeah that's, that's done. done. 
And then, and then finally, finally whoa, whoa, she she wanted wanted to know. <laughs> right. And then finally, uh, we just want to add um, the desktop sound. So if you're using a, a web browser or so on and so forth, again, that will come in under a audio output. Uh, so you just go like desktop uh, and then that will come under system. So there we go. That's under system. So now if I wanted to just play something here on YouTube, you can see there we go. It comes in there. And so, yeah, that is pretty much it. That's how you set it up. As simple as that. I will say if you have got, I did say if it's a work for single PCs as well. If you've got a single PC setup, what you'll want to do is instead of, because you don't use the line in on a single PC setup, what you'll want to do is change the line in uh, to, to game here. And similar how we did with Spotify, we set that output to basically the music input, which then pushes it to the broadcast stream mix. You do the same for, for Warzone or whatever game that you play. You set set the output of, uh, of the game to the game input, and then that then pushes it to the chat mic, which pushes it uh, into into OBS. And so there's no video for this section because I only really had this thought after I've done the video and I want to still give as much value as I can to the single PC users because I know there's lots of you out there. I realize you don't actually need to add um, the game uh, input to the chat mic output. If you really just want the slider just to control the volume for in your headphones and not and, and, and the stream just be maintained at the same volume, you don't actually need this and you could just actually enter um, the game sound into OBS as an audio output and then just select the game input. I also had this another, this another, this another thought, <laughs> facts. Um, if like me, you play a game uh, such as Warzone where you you can go into the game and basically choose uh, the, like the in-game chat output, you could also set this to basically the chat input here. Um, and so just to demonstrate here, I'm just selecting uh, the Go XLR chat input um, in Warzone. And what that then means is that now my voice chat slider on my Go XLR can control the volume in my headphones for both Discord and for the chat in game which I think is really nice because then you can then have them, like I said, both on its separate slider in OBS uh, here, and then you just set a limiter. Um, so yeah, but that's only for single PC users. You won't be able to do that on a on a dual PC if you've got it on your stream PC. And yeah, that's, uh, I think that's pretty much it, to be honest. Now, what I would say is now why I use this setup is for me personally, I then go and, and set limiters on um, the different uh, channels. So... I'll set a limiter here um, because often my game sound is super loud. Um, so I'll set a limiter there. I might also set a limiter on my mic at about minus 10. Uh, my Discord chat as well. What I'll do is I'll work out and look what my game sound is and my mic and set my Discord chat volume um, in, in, in the middle of that. So it's a little bit louder than the game so people can hear it, but it's a little bit quieter than my mic. Music, I'll also set a limiter just in case like when I'm on the slider, I just whack the slider up for volume and it's way too loud for stream. So I'll, I'll figure out what is the right kind of peak volume for stream and make sure that all of my limiters are basically set to that. Same with the sampler as well. Test, test, te te test, sampler's test, not test, too test, bad test, at the test, moment. Test, 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 test. And so, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Like that is how I've got mine set up. I think I've included everything here, I believe so. And so, yeah, that is, um yeah there is one small caveat which it was a caveat when i when i first started it but it's now kind of an, a non-caveat <laughs> right and so and so basically because the line in is controlled by the slider and also controls the sound on on obs uh if you make an adjustment to it it, it, it depending on how loud your game sound is coming into go xlr it might mean that if you turn it down a little bit it also turns it down on stream. However, for me, it, the reason why it turns into a non-caveat is actually my game sound is so loud and because I have a limiter um, on my game sound, it gives me uh, a little bit of room between the limiter and actually the, the volume that's, that it sh kind of it is at. Meaning that when I actually uh, turn down my slider, um, 
between like 50 and 100%. It doesn't affect the stream volume, which is actually really good because it means that I can make make some adjustments to the music, to the game and the, the voice chat, like, and then the headphones to kind of find the perfect balance. Um, and then if I actually want to just turn off uh, the game sound completely from stream. I would just whack it all the way down. But I don't personally ever find myself needing to adjust the game volume because like I said, I have the limiter. I know what the sound is on stream. Um, I only ever find myself just tweaking it at the top here for my headphones when I maybe want the music a little bit louder compared like compared to the game sound. But again, again, for me, that actually didn't become much of an issue. And if your game sound is lower, what I'd recommend doing is just whacking it, whacking the game sound up full volume in the game game itself so that the actual when it comes over to obs it's super loud so then it gives you that little bit of room if it doesn't then you can just add a little bit of a gain to do it so yeah that's the only small caveat that i found but again it's not really one like now that it does everything that i want it to do and when i stream i don't ever think oh it's kind of annoying or like i found a stupid little workaround that's not quite right this is perfect um and so yeah that is it i hope that helped people um if you have any questions or you, you do this and it doesn't quite work for you or, or you come stuck with it, then just just drop just drop a question down below and I try and help you. Um, but yeah, I hope, I hope that was helpful. Um, I, I really wanted to make this video for a while just because of the fact that I just couldn't find anything that, that found a solution like mine. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, look forward to seeing you soon. Hit the like and subscribe button if you want to. Uh, but other than that, yeah, have a nice day um, and go and get it such a terrible ending i need to work on my endings but yeah <laughs> have a nice week everyone see you later bye, -bye.